The Kenya Kwanza presidential candidate and deputy president William Ruto has unveiled his education charter containing a myriad of proposals aimed at overhauling the sector should he win the presidency come August. Today, the classroom teacher is talking to the people at the top. The second in command welcomed the new CBC whose implementation has been ongoing for the last five years. We also agree that five years down the road, it's time to review in accordance with uh, UNESCO recommendations, the CBC program, so that the issues that have been identified by teachers, by parents, by students, and other stakeholders uh, can be subjected to a robust public conversation so that we can finally uh, have uh, a conversation that will lead us to ironing out the areas that are in contestation. The DP further say that the competency-based curriculum CBC would need to be reviewed to accommodate concerns from parents, teachers, as well as stakeholders in the country. That we are going to abolish the delocalization policy as is set up now and replace it with a program that will appreciate that teachers are a national resource and at the level of entry in employment, the nationalization agenda will be implemented at that level. The Deputy President further promises to increase funding for the basic education programs and allocate more funds to implement quality education. Our education should move in the direction of not just knowledge and exams, it should move in the direction of knowledge, skills, competencies, and value-based education. We shall improve on the utilization of resources so that our children, who are the bedrock of what we want to achieve, whether industrialization or whatever, that they are properly educated at all times. This is absolutely critical. At the same time, the DEP weighed in on the ongoing fake degrees debate, asking ODM leader Raila Odinga to name some of his classmates or even lecturers to prove his academic qualification. Ruto said on his part that he had enough evidence to prove he went to school. It will also help us to eliminate cases of uh, people uh, saying they, they went to school. They have no known classmates, they have no known lecturers, and uh, nobody knows what courses they did. So I think it, it will help us sort out the whole of that. Ruto's education charter also promises to bridge the 116,000 teacher deficit in public schools within two financial years by employing 58,000 teachers annually from the over 300,000 trained but unemployed teachers in the country. Angela Cherur, K24 TV, Nairobi.